The fight continues, and Chris keeps wondering why Alto still has too much mana to keep fighting. The whole school is watching, and Rex concludes that Alto couldn't beat Chris. Finally, Alto wins, and the whole school cheers for him. One of the teachers, Professor Obsidian, calls Alto as the other students sing his praises. He rebukes him in front of the students, not to challenge people on duels that what if he had lost, who knows what he had been made to do. Lilia defends him quickly that he had no choice and did it for a good reason, but the professor advises him not to overdo it and leaves. Alto admires him and praises him for being cool, and that is the major reason why girls are swimming around him. He asks Lilia if she is also crushing on the professor. Angrily, she hits him. Chris is made to do chores as she lost. Rex walks up to her and she takes her time to apologize, which surprises him. He assists her and jokes that it is all good they start from the same level. Later that night, Vermeil sneaks in on Alto and kisses him as he scolds her and tells her to put on her clothes. Angrily, Vermeil scolds Alto for hating her and not wanting her, but Alto corrects her and encourages her to kiss whoever she loves. Vermeil insists that he is the one she loves a lot. The next morning in school, Alto complains that Vermeil doesn't know how to stop. Lilia compliments Vermeil that she is glowing that morning morning, as Alto wonders if any human can really fall in with a demon. He walks up to Professor Obsidian and asks him this question, and he answers that it is true that demons play a vital role in the history of magic, but as for human demon romance, he did not take Alto for a romantic type. Alto denies and says he was just asking. Professor Obsidian says there are folk stories about women bearing the children of demons and lust craving incubi and succubi are said to exist as well, but it's difficult to say if their actions are motivated by love. At night during dinner, Alto is unusually quiet as Vermeil asks if something had happened to him. Alto asks her if she is with him because of his mana, but instead of answering, she hugs him tightly and calls him a silly boy for thinking she is only after that. He apologizes and Vermeil laughs, asking him why he thinks that. He says it's because Vermeil always tries to drain his mana. Vermeil explains that is because she needs the mana to live and Vermeil kisses. Alto notices she doesn't suck his mana, and Vermeil says he loves her and screams that he is giving her a hard time and tries kissing him, and Alto pushes her that he is not interested today and that demons are cruel. The next morning, Lilia again compliments Vermeil that she is glowing as Alto sees Professor Obsidian. She walks up to him, apologizing for the question he asked a day before. He smiles and tells him not to worry, since that is his duty as a teacher, and curiously asks him why he asked that question that day. Alto answers that he was just curious. The professor laughs again and says he is happy to know everything is solved since he looked like he was on the verge of death that day and he is feeling better. And whether human or demon romance, he should be careful that every woman is a fiery demon. Afterwards, the professor is seen with a lady named Emma Abelian, a fourth year silver specializing in ice magic and asks her to do something for him. Happily, she hugs the professor and confesses her love for him. Later, her body body is seen in a room, frozen, as the student gossip that it is the fourth student in that situation. The student council decides to do something about it since the president is worried. Alto is given an assignment to write on the familiar, likes and dislikes. Alto starts to measure Vermeil's naked body, while Lilia sends her familiar to spy on them. Not satisfied, she drinks the invisible potion and goes to spy on them herself. Rex narrates that the first familiar he has ever summoned was a gigantic egg, and only dragons had used jigs, though it wouldn't be strong right away if he took care of it and incubates it, he will get himself a powerful dragon liar. Chris admires it, and he couldn't believe she is talking to him. She tells him she can't wait for it to incubate, and that is how he got to know Chris. Alto goes to get groceries with Vermeil, and she requests dessert, but Alto declines and tells her to eat a balanced meal so she won't get overweight. Vermeil refuses, but Alto begs her that they are short of money and should have cooked meals. Vermeil Vermeil sits on the floor and refuses to answer him, and Alto realizes Vermeil can be childish at times. He decides to buy her one dessert, and happily, she jumps on him and kisses him publicly. Alto scolds her for doing that in public, and Vermeil kisses him again, draining his mana. And suddenly, Rex's brother runs towards them, asking for help, as Rex is seen with a gigantic dragon, his eyes red and full of scars, and has transformed to an half-demon. He attacks Chris and mocks her now, being beneath the ground.
down. Chris tries fighting back, but Rex fights back till she passes out. Luckily, Alto and Vermeil intervene, but before they could do anything, the president of the council attacks Rex with the judgment sword and scolds Chris for letting a lowly opponent beat her. Rex collapses finally, and the president also scolds Vermeil for not knowing what power is about. She smiles and agrees. Rex is taken to the infirmary as his situation makes it the fifth incident. The student council concludes that someone must be behind it, and until they find out everything, they can't guarantee they will be able to help the afflicted. Chris walks out angrily as one of the members tells the others she likes to be rough with her toys and hates when others maltreat what is hers. It's nearly time for the bronze certification exam and Lilia's advice to Alto is to focus on the exam so as to pass it on the first trial so he can be on the same level with Rex when he wakes up. Vermeil excuses herself to go to the room alone as Alto is shocked since she never leaves him alone and hopes she is sincerely okay. Meanwhile, Vermeil follows Professor Obsidian quietly and accuses him of being involved in all of the incidents, but he feigns innocence. Vermeil insists she can smell the low fire on him and that whatever he is doing with the students is none of her business as long as he does not touch Alto and that she will rip his soul to shreds. The professor chuckles and Vermeil tells him it's not worth it, but he grabs her instead and injects her with low fire and she falls falls to the ground. Meanwhile, Lilia is trying to seduce Alto, and suddenly his hand brings out the power, and everywhere darkens as Vermeil turns into a very huge demon, and Alto runs out to come and save her. Alto and Lilia run to save Vermeil as the professor chains her, glad that his research is successful. Alto becomes shocked at what he sees, and asks Professor Obsidian, who was pleased that a demon of power is kneeling before him. He asks the professor to explain to him, and he tells him he had to establish a magical means of causing madness, but condensing it into a liquid form was back-breaking labor since it was custom-made. After all, injecting it causes their powers to run wild, and it often works on true demons, and finding the right demon for him was difficult, so he had to use five in total, and they served his purposes well, and now his research has led him to incredible success. Alto and Lilia become incredibly shocked at the revelation as the professor confesses that he is the the man behind everything. Alto cries as he remembers the sweet memory between him and Vermeil, and screams in anger as the professor brags that he is a far more suitable master for her than Alto was. Vermeil screams in rage and attacks Alto, injuring him severely, slicing him in the heart. Vermeil hugs Alto, and Alto reminds her that he is her master. Vermeil cries and confesses that she had moved without knowing and cries seriously. Alto begs her that everything is going to be all right and falls as Vermeil comes back to the normal state. Vermeil kisses him and tells him he would never let go of him and restores him. The professor laughs happily that death is no match for the demon and injects himself and turns into a demon hybrid, the ultimate demon that fed upon hundreds of low-level demons and threatens to crush them easily and that he has planned on keeping Vermeil as his pet but would crush and assimilate her into his being. Vermeil strikes him with one blow as the professor begs for his life, but he falls unconscious. Alto resurrects and Lilia hugs him happily and cries thinking she had lost him already. Later that day, Alto thanks Vermeil for resurrecting him, but she blames herself for hurting him, but he tells her it's not her fault. And after all, he is alive, but Vermeil tells him that he has not healed completely and his mana has been knit together as one with her. Vermeil apologizes, but Alto tells her not to since he is alive and can run around. Vermeil disagrees and informs him that the heart beating inside him is hers, the heart of a true dragon, and that if he dies, the same will happen to her. Alto blames her for making such a sacrifice at the expense of her life. He points out the fact that she is a demon and she is meant to love forever and not die like a human. The student council president fought against a co-conspirator, which they haven't found out about, and as for Professor Obsidian, he was hauled away by the Ortigia city guard, and that though many mysteries still hung in the air, the incident was for the moment resolved. Rex finally wakes up in the infirmary and finds Chris next to him, sleeping, and all the rest of the students in comas all wake up feeling better, and now Alto needs Vermeil Mana to function since he now has heart, and Vermeil stopped talking to Alto and starts acting cold and distant. Alto decides to talk her out of it, but Vermeil refuses, calling herself a monster since people call her a scourge and a living disaster. 
Furthermore, she tells Alto not to be around him. He denies that it is not true, but she reminds him her true form and tells him it is monstrous. Alto gets angry and pins her to the wall and kisses her. Vermeil notices that she didn't suck his mana. She remembers that Alto advises her to kiss whom she loves and blush. Meanwhile, Alto screams at her for thinking like that and she needs him more than ever, saying that he runs out angrily. Did you enjoy this recap? If you did, kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you the recap of the next episodes. Until next time, do take care and stay safe.